Hey, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for being here. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. So, um, there are new regulations, all right? Okay, so um, guys, there are new regulations. Insaforb has actually asked. Yes, I know it is the last week of class, but Insaforb has actually asked um, to take attendance three times during the class and the complete one. So I understand that it's only the two of you, but I have to take attendance for all of them. Okay, so my apologies. I'm just following Insaforb directions. Um, Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> ah, uh, Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Okay, no, not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Not present. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. <laughs> <laughs> present, okay. Aldo Sade Castro Pleites. Not present. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Not present. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Not present yet. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Not here. David Orlando Nerio. Not here. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Not here. Roxana Ametilia Ríos de Quiñones. Not here. Juan Carlos García Laínez, not here. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino, not here. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas, not here. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz, not here. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro, Alison. Hi. Right on time. Say present, please. Don't ask. Just say present. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> Cele Carmina Pineda Avalos. Not here. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Not here. And uh, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Not here. So, guys, thank you very much for being on time. Alison, I was explaining the girls that Insafor has actually required to take attendance three times. So okay. right at eight, at nine, and at 9.45. And uh, you guys have to say present, and I have to ask for the whole name, for the whole, all, all the people. All right, okay. so as you know, I like to start the class by asking for the previous one. What did we cover yesterday? We covered yesterday about um, commerce. About? M commerce. M commerce, that's right. So, what is M commerce? M commerce is the sale the correct word. Or uh, okay, well, um, I, I'm sorry if you're if you're talking uh, and I'm interrupting you. The line is breaking up a lot, so. It's okay. very difficult for me to, to hear you. Would you mind trying again? The, is the sales that you made via cell phone or is through cell phone the correct word? Is the sales you make um, via mobile devices? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use via because if you say on the phone, it's like you're talking. Over the yeah. phone, it might be that you are talking too. So you can say that. It are the cells that you make via um, yeah, the, mobile device. devices. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, do you do you guys agree with that definition? Yes, no, maybe, why? <laughs> I guess that they do, I guess they agree. <clears throat> okay. So guys, um, what is the name or what is the word that we use in order to say that a device can fit in your hand? Handheld. 
handheld device. Hand All right. Device. Mm -hmm. That is correct. It's going to be handheld device. So what expressions did you learn yesterday? Guys, did you learn any expression, any new vocabulary yesterday? I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard to cut corners. Okay, nice to cut corners. What else? And, and what is the meaning of cutting corners, guys? To do something in bad conditions, I have. Uh-huh, yeah. something like that. To do something poorly, right? Like poorly, pobremente. Or to do something like, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Let's say that when you cut corners is when you do something like incorrectly. For example, let's say that you have a Toyota, a car, and... Uh, one spare part or, or a piece of your car is broken. You can replace it and uh, many people will do it with the original part. But here in El Salvador, many people would say, oh no, I'm gonna buy the Chinese version because it is cheaper, right? That is cutting corners where when you are not doing the things the way they are meant to be, the way that it's supposed to be. And if you wanna save time, you save money, you're doing it incorrectly. Is it better now? Yes. Más o menos, so es prácticamente eh, comerse lo chambón en algo, hacer algo mal por salir más rápido, tipo, no sé, barrer por donde pasa la virgen, por donde, como decía mi mamá, vea, mm -hmm. sí, o, o la limpieza, que no mueven nada, o bañarse, pero nada más hacerle así, y ya salen en dos minutos. That's cutting corners. Hacer algo a la rápida, a lo chambón, para salir de compromiso. Is it clear? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. All right. So make sure that you don't cut corners when you take a shower, guys. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Okay? Okay. What else did we learn yesterday? Walking on the ice. Walking on, almost there. Walking on? Thin ice. ice. Walking on thin ice. Great. Give me an example Walking of when you are able to use that idiom. Let's say, for example, uh, or what is the is, definition? When something is kind of uh, delicate, uh huh, or it's a kind of double edged sword. Okay. So, give me examples. I can give you one. Um, what do you think about your mother in law? Which, of course, I love mine. You know, she's great. Uh -huh. What other example can you give me of walking on thin ice? The feelings about politics. Oh, because yeah. You don't know if uh, the other people share the same opinion. Exactly. About politics, about religion. Normally, I don't talk about religion in my classes, right? Just to avoid any type of situation. Great. Nothing else? Nothing new? So out of two hours, you just got two idioms and a word. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the article V. Okay? We're going to be talking about the article V. Does anybody know the use of that article? The, the, no? Well, we use the when we have something that de definite, definite. Uh -huh. Something when we have in particular something that we, we have, uh, that we are talking about something specific. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, something specific, that's right. So. What is the meaning of the article D in Spanish? El, la. Hola. El, hola. When do we use it in Spanish, guys? Oh, 
talk about uh, places, things, mm -hmm. objects, objects, yeah. uh, in Spanish or also for people? <laughs> hey, it is the same. So I'm not, that is. Uh, yes, it is the same. So I'm not going to make you suffer again and let's get down to business. That's another expression, guys. Let's get down to business. Here. By the way, welcome everybody. Now I have more people. I'm gonna give you a couple of news in a couple of uh, minutes at the middle of the class. So please read with me. How do you use the definite article D? How do you use the definite article D? Or the. Or the. Or some people say the. <laughs> so it's a little bit tricky. Okay. I'll explain it to you. Look at the examples in the box. Then complete the exercises below. Look at the examples below. Then complete the exercises below. Exercises. Exercises. Below. Below. That's right. So please read it here. Use the Use. plus a noun when the hearer, the reader, already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Go, please. Use, Use the, 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 the noun when the, 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 the reader, the reader, reader already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Okay. Use the plus count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. Use the plus count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. Okay, so um, um, taking this into consideration, guys, this one right here. This example. What would you tell me if I if I tell you this? I bought the car. I bought the car. What is the message that I'm giving you? Uh, uh, previously, you had a conversation, and uh, you the other person mm -hmm. know what you're talking about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Right now. Yes, no. a car. Mm -hmm. Like in Spanish, um, Eric, fíjate que compré el teléfono. And Eric can tell me, what phone? What are you talking about? Now, do you think is a different meaning if I tell you this? I bought a car. Is there any difference? Yes. 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 So what is the difference? That when you say I bought a car, it can be any car. But when you say the car, it's a specific car. It is a specific car. OK. So, But it's easy for you to understand, hey, guys, I bought a car, which obviously is just an example, right? Not, not a real thing. So I bought a car. All of you understand, but if I tell you I bought the car without reference, and this is actually what we have right here, without already having a reference, you are not going to understand. Okay, it'll be different if I tell you, for example, hey uh, guys, I want to buy a, I don't know, give me a brand of a car. Honda. 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 Hey guys, I want to buy a Honda Fit. So you know that I'm talking about a Honda Fit, right? And if yes. I tell you five, five hours later, hey guys, I bought the car. What car am I talking about? About the Honda Fit. About the Honda Fit. Exactly. Why? Because you already have a reference. Uh -huh. Right? Is it better understanding now? Yes. All right. Yeah. Very good. 
Now, here, um, the next one is use the plus count noun to express that the noun is as specific as opposed to general. Now, what if I tell you that I bought something but I wanna separate it from the rest? How would you say that? That you have bought something but you wanna separate it from the rest. You wanna be a specific. Try to give me an example. I bought some cookies, some bread, and the pizza that I wanted, for example. I don't know. Yes, excellent. Guys, come on. Thank you very much, Gladys. Break the ice. Even though you have uh, questions con uh, or concerns, go ahead and give it a try. Exactly. So the pizza that I wanted, did she talk about, did we understand the message? ¿Entendimos el mensaje que, que nos dio ella, guys? Yes. Ajá. ¿Qué pizza era? What pizza was it? The pizza that she wanted. Mm -hmm. The pizza that she wanted. So, she is being specific here. She's being specific. And we didn't need a reference. Okay? So, in the previous example, we needed a reference because uh, you need to mention it so people can understand but here you don't need it because by using the the pizza right the pizza that she wanted so she's actually adding more information let's go ahead and read a couple of examples here augmented reality has the ability to blur the boundaries between the physical and digital worlds try to read it for me please Augmented reality, augmented reality, digital world. You are mute. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Now, so here, which one do you think it is, guys? Option one or option two? This is option one, and this is option two. Mute it, JC. You're going to eat us all. <laughs> no worries. Uh huh. Or a noun. Is it a noun with a reference? Or is it just a specific as opposed to general? Specific. It is actually a specific, guys. I know that. So let's go ahead and read this one. The businesses that win the battle of customer service can gain a competitive advantage. Go, please. The business Okay. So we are talking about what businesses are we talking about? We don't know. I am physical and digital. Mm hmm. It is actually right there. Los negocios. ¿Qué negocios? What businesses are we talking about? That win the, the ones that won the battle. Mm -hmm. That's right. The ones that win the battle. So here we are complementing things. Los negocios que ganan la batalla. We are not talking about negocios en general because that's going to be zero article. Um. And let me, let me tell you something, guys. Right now, I was going to show you a couple of things, but uh, one more time, due to new regulations, 
coming from Insaforp, I am not allowed to show you any other material that is not this or my own. Okay, so that's why I'm not using part of the things that I had uh, prepared for the class. So, the ability to offer us approach to consumers is very important. What ability? The ability to customers. What ability are we talking about? To offer a self-service. Uh -huh. The ability to offer a self-service. Very good. 2017 will be the year of technology and customer service. What year is it going to be? 2017? 2017. Or the year of technology and customer service? 2017. 2017. Okay, in this one, my dear fellows, it's going to be 2017 will be the year of technology. Why? Because we are being specific on how 2017 is going to be. All right. Now, this is what I wanted to do, guys, yeah. because I think that these exercises might be a little bit confusing because they are applied to the topic. So I want you guys to go to the basics. Okay. Now. Try to give me at least three examples of this, of this one right here. Let me go ahead and erase everything. You're gonna give me three examples of this. That means that you have to create a context, all right? It's gonna be divided into statements. Hey, you know what? I wanna buy a, or I wanna sell, <clears throat> I wanna sell my motorcycle. Oh, really? Why do you want to sell it? Ah, because I don't use it. It's just in the parking lot. Five minutes later. Hey, um, Beatriz, I sold the motorcycle. Right. So we are using the motorcycle without the contest because that happened previously. So we're going to do three examples of this, like real quick, some simple. And three examples of this one right here. Okay. Now, I like... Uh, I like the pizza that, let me see, what is the name of this thing? That Pizza Nova bakes because it is very delicious. It has a lot of ingredients, blah, blah, blah. What pizza? The pizza that Pizza Nova makes. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta de los tres ejemplos que van a hacer? Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to work in these guys, and uh, when we come back, you're going to share it with the class. Do you have your books with you? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and accept the invite just in case I'm going to be sending you, uh, just in case I'm going to be sending you a screenshot. So you can actually give the examples. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Hi, girls. There we Hi. Go. How are you? Thirty-seven. <sighs> okay. So, consumers. Where are you? I can see you. Yeah. Um, Karen, go ahead and accept the invite, please. Okay. Ingresa. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, salir de la... Okay. Cancelar or salir de la reunión? No, no don't, don't touch that. Just let me know if something changes, but don't touch anything. Okay. Ah, right now. Uh -huh, but wait. Don't touch it. I'm going to send you back to the previous one. All right. Do it now, please. Teacher. I came back. 
<laughs> I see. I don't know why. <laughs> no worries. I don't do anything. Okay. Did you get it again? Uh, let no. Let me see. What about now? No. <laughs> and now? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do me a favor, Karen. Go ahead and log out and log back in so I can okay. add you to a group. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Abner, how's it going? Hi, teacher. How are you? Yeah, so Everything is doing good. well. Nice. Fantastic. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, I'm sending you, you an invite so you can start working with your classmates. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, you're welcome. All righty, Karen. Let me go ahead and try again. Hey, Karen, did you get it? All right, she did. Uh, A51, ouch. Samsung A51, okay. Then I could say, A, I bought, A. I bought the, I bought the, I bought the, I bought the cell phone. So we should put that, we should mm -hmm. put that about we, we are talking about because yes. We already talked before about the. You told me about the Samsung one fifty one, right? Or a fifty one. What? Which one did you say? A fifty one. Two fifty one. A. A fifty one. Yes. Okay. Hey, okay. I bought the cell phone. So second example, which one would it be? Another example. Another example. Um, <laughs> um, um, I want to go to. Uh, uh, it's um, anything no. like. Yeah, it's like the complement with D plus a noun. It when it refers to something, for example, and D plus the count noun, it's referred to specific things. For example, that that's why uh, the first example, it's mainly the base of the D plus the count noun. Mm -hmm. That's what I understand. Okay, uh, thank, thank you. But teacher, uh, we have to write the three examples, right, of, mm -hmm. of each one. That's right. Uh, like one example with the D, one example with the A, and one example with the zero article, or just with the D or just with the A? Just with D whenever you need a reference and D whenever you're being specific already. Okay. Okay. So, D with a reference. Oh, oh we have were... to use a noun. We, we have to use the first the one. The. Yes. The. The, 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 
I recall the or the. Mm -hmm. And there, there are two uses for. I don't know. I don't have any idea. <laughs> I have no idea. That's the expression. I have no idea. Correct. Sorry. <laughs> Teacher, on, I have I didn't understand the second one. Mm -hmm. Could you please explain it again? Yeah. Because I'm really confused about it. No worries. Um okay. You're gonna be using the article D in the second part whenever you don't need context to understand. And actually, what it was your example? Hey, um, I bought the pizza I wanted. You are being specific on that one, and I don't need any previous context to understand. Why? Because oh, okay. in the previous one, hey, uh, um, I have cravings for pizza nova. And five minutes later, hey, I, I ordered the pizza. Ya ordené la pizza. What pizza? pizza nova right because you needed um context but if i just come to you if you don't know anything hey um i ordered the pizza you like oh i, I like pizza hut for example so in the second example you are being specific already so you do not need previous context Okay. Still okay. a little. Don't don't be ashamed. If if the answer does not satisfy you, let me know. Yes, I think I get it. Okay. Uh, I have another question. Uh, we were talking about like we were talking about brands, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know if for brands you use the the article D. If for it, example, if, if, we, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yes, uh, and Andrea was saying about Nike. So I don't know if it's the Nike or just Nike, how oh, it works. In that case, if the name doesn't really have it, you don't have to use it. So if it's Nike, Nike it is. You don't need the article D because it is already a specific. How many Nikes are there in the world? Yeah, but the the sentences the sentence was that I buy the Nike I I am going to buy the Nike shoes. So I, I think see. that I yeah. see. Okay. Why? Because you have a noun after Nike, so you are using Nike as an adjective. Okay. I want to buy the Nike shoes, los zapatos Nike. Ahí tú lo estás ocupando como adjetivo y ahí sí se pone pero necesita llevar el noun después de eso. Es como una diadema. Aquí tienes el artículo di, aquí tienes el nombre, y aquí vas a poner el noun. Entonces, da Nike shoes. Da Gucci shoes. Entonces, tenés que especificar de qué estás hablando cuando ocupas el article di con una marca. Más o menos o no mucho. Ok. Girl? Yes, yes, I, I understand now. All right, good. I'm going to go check another group because they are calling me for help. Hey, did you call me? The, oh? Hey, what's Sorry. up? Did you call me? No, we are just a little bit confused. For example, uh, we, we wrote... Mm -hmm. uh, an example, uh, I'm just walking in front of the building that we came yesterday for the interview. Mm -hmm. And then we have to follow the conversation or just that? Just, no, just leave it there. It's fine. It's uh, fine that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is but, uh, right there. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I, I know that uh, I came late, but no I don't understand. I don't know why, maybe I am blocked right now. Uh, the difference between A and the. For example, Alison said, uh, I read a book of the life of Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. But what is the difference between if uh, I wrote A and I wrote D? Ah, okay. Um, the article A and N. 
-hmm. I think so. I can yeah. tell you a car is any car. Uh -huh. The car is a specific. Okay, the car. Mm -hmm. So this okay. sentence uh, it would be like the like the first form mm -hmm. that use uh, D plus a noun. Forget about that. If you notice, I didn't never I didn't even pay much attention to that when I explained it. That's what might be getting you all confused. You know what? Let's go ahead and go back to the main room. I'm gonna explain a couple of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can okay. clarify. You're welcome. Alrighty, guys, I'm calling you back because there are a couple of things that I want to that I want to help you with right now. Let's wait a few seconds for all the people to come back. Alrighty, guys, so now that you are back, <clears throat> let's go ahead and forget a little bit about the, the book, okay? Because I think that some of you were getting a little bit confused mm -hmm. and the content is actually a little bit confusing. So we're going to focus right now on the chat, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what is the difference? When do we use A and AN? Let's go ahead and, and start with the basics. What is the difference between a, a, a and an? A is when uh -huh. you are going to use a when the next word is a star with, um, with something different than a. Uh, uh -huh. because you got it. You got it. Another you can do it. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Uh, another explanation. No, it's good. You you and have a very good idea. Used, and you're going to use and when you uh, uh, you can uh, you can say and another example. And another example. It's because you oh, can nice. have you can have two a together, two a together. Uh huh. Almost, 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 almost there. <laughs> One is for vowel and the other one is for consonants. The A is for consonant and the AN is for vowel sounds, I think. Yes, that's right. Now, you know that sometimes I like to say that um, having things saved is going to save your life. So I want to say, I want to share something with you real quick. Give me a second. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and use this. I think it's going to be very great. And this is my content. So here, let's go ahead and work with articles, guys. I want to kill this, uh, this uh, confusion mood we have here. Here it is. So we're going to be working with definite and indefinite articles by me. <laughs> So, number one is that we have to keep this chart into context. This is the base for everything. Now, we're going to be using A and AN for things that are general, something or someone that is not a specific. It can be used with singular countable nouns. So, we're going to have I bought a TV. So, this TV is going to be general. Did I mention the brand? No. Nope. I'm just saying a TV. Could be anything. There is an iguana in my room. Did I mention what iguana? Because I have two. No? No. And those are not my iguanas. It can be an iguana. I don't know. It's a general thing. I am not being a specific. <clears throat> Now, we're going to be using article V for singular cannibal nouns. And they are going to be specific. 
I bought the TV we saw last night. Am I being specific here? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mom, they wanna is back. I am being specific. Yes. So pretty much la iguana. ¿Cuál iguana? La que habíamos visto antes. This is an example of context, right? Because even in the context, it's telling you that they want is back. That means that it has been there before. So that means that my mom knows what I'm talking about. Okay? So, so far, do you have any questions between the use of the article A for general and D for specific? No. No? Okay. Now, we can also use them for plural, and this, this actually is covered in the material that we have for today. We can use the for plural, countable, or uncountable. It doesn't matter as long as it is, as it is specific. For example, the iguanas in the garden are eating mangoes. Am I talking about a specific iguanas? Yes. Which ones? One the ones that are in the garden. Yes, the, in the ones garden. in the garden, right? N is actually plural here and specific. We're going to work with this row, con esta fila, with this row and with this column. Did you bring the money you owe me? Here, money, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 uncountable, that's right. You cannot count money. You can count dollars, but not money. What money am I talking about? The, the one that you owe me. The one you owe, owe me. me. All right. Give so me I'm, the money. Uh -huh, give me my money. <laughs> you give me the money back. Exactly. So it is going to be uncountable, money, and a specific. And here, iguanas, they want us, plural, countable, specific. Are we good so far? Because you're going to give me examples of this. Any questions so far? No? And also, we're going to use no article. That can be plural, countable, or uncountable nouns. Iguanas are beautiful. Am I talking about a specific iguanas? No. No. Am I talking about the one in my garden? No. No. The one that is back? No. An iguana in my room? No. I'm okay. talking about all of them in general. So this is very important, guys. When we are talking about plural, for general things, we don't use the article D, which it happens in Spanish. Las iguanas son bellas. So this is one of the biggest confusions that we have because we translate from English to Spanish and vice versa, okay? I have no money, true story. Am I talking about the money you guys owe me? No, I'm talking about money in general. And why? Because it is uncountable. So this is a comparison chart. Is it a little bit clear? Okay. Yep. Okay, there, there's still a lot of material that I have for you guys, but I want to make a pause right here. Okay, I'm going to explain this real quick. Then we're going to work with the definite article and when we can use it. But before that, I need volunteers to give me an example with... Not you, baby, come on. <clears throat> okay, so um, give me an example with A or N. <laughs> I'm using a shirt. Uh huh. Is that shirt general? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is, right? So let's go ahead and this one is done. I'm using a shirt, general shirt, and one. Give me an example with an. I, I want like an ice cream. <laughs> I would like an ice cream or an orange. Very good. Are you talking about La Neveria or Pops? No. no. It can be Sarita. Yeah. It can be... Esos que son bien feitos de, del super. Rio Soto. Rio Soto, pobrecito. <laughs> Pero igual, no, okay. so, 
No, I mean, it, it is like, never mind. That's my personal opinion. My apologies. Now, let's go ahead and use the specific things. Give me something that is singular and countable for a specific. I bought a polo shirt. Oh, I bought a polo shirt? Yes. Cualquiera? That is still general. Okay. Yo compré una camisa polo. It can be uh, Tommy Hilfiger, it can be pony, whatever. Let's see, uh, I, I bought a Adidas polo shirt. It is still general. Even if you're saying the brand, it is still general because Adi, Adi, Adidas is actually, you know, a very big company. So here, guys, and I'm going to say oh, it in oh. Spanish quick. Aquí es donde entra. I am right. Hay dos maneras de ocuparlo, señores. Una, que ya me hayan mencionado. Hey, compré la camisa. ¿Cuál? La que me mencionó. El contexto es pasado. Pero tiene que llevar un contexto anterior para que ustedes me digan, compré la camisa. Compré el helado. ¿Ok? Aquí es tan específico. Necesitan contexto para entender. Pero si no hay contexto, ustedes lo tienen que explicar cuando lo cuenten. ¿Ok? For example, I bought the TV that... My girlfriend wanted for the since the quarantine started. I bought the TV that my girlfriend wanted since the quarantine started. Is that clear to you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I'm not kidding. Oh, see, miren, ya no están los hoyos en la pared. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> so, I am being specific because it's the TV that my girlfriend wanted, right? You didn't need a previous context to understand. Now, the other is, hey, guys, let me tell you, um, my girlfriend wants a TV, and she wants uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm giving you the details of the TV. Two days later, I come to you, and I tell you, hey, guys, I bought the TV. What TV and I'm talking about? The one that I mentioned two days ago with the previous mm -hmm. context. Is it a little bit better now? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, so with the example yes. that mm -hmm. Al, Al, Aldo said, the example, mm -hmm. right? Yes. He can say about the shirt that I wanted. Ahí está. So there, you don't need a previous context because you are giving enough information to understand at once. All right. Okay. Very good. So um, now try to get me. This is. Let's say that this is clear. Guys, sorry for the Spanish. ¿Está claro cuando no tenemos que, no necesitamos contexto previo? Yeah. ¿Sí? Yeah. Tenemos que ser específicos cuando lo estamos contando. Mira, fíjate que compré eh, las pupusas este, que... That you mentioned que me, yesterday. Que me recomendaste. Yeah. Pero ahí ya estoy diciendo, yo compré las pupusas que me recomendaste. Eso es lo que hace que la otra persona no necesite contexto anterior. Ahora, si yo vengo y les digo, hey, compré las pupusas. Entonces, él ya tiene que acordarse de que fueron las que me recomendó él o ella hace dos días, por ejemplo. Esa es la diferencia. Compré las pupusas, contexto anterior, o compré las pupusas que me recomendaste. O compré las pupusas que están de moda. ¿Ya? Entonces, ah, si ustedes ya saben bien, si no van a preguntar y cuáles están de moda, pero ese no es el tema. Ok, very good. So now try to give me an example, guys, where context is not needed. Mm. Me, Morena. Go ahead, More. Um, it could be um, I am writing on the English class notebook. Yes. Correct. You are being using singular because it's just one and you're being specific. Excellent example. Another one, guys, please, with no context needed. It could be I bought the computer I saw online a week ago. Excellent. Great. 
Uh huh. What else? No context needed. I like the orange juice. Mmm. 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 Uh, let's analyze it, guys. I like the orange juice. What orange juice? McDonald's? Orange juice in general. You like it. Aha. Uh -huh. Orange juice in what? In general. <laughs> you, you uh -huh. don't say I like an orange juice. Exactly. Now, man, I love this thing. You see, whenever you give examples, this is the cross reference that we are having. A mí me gusta el jugo de naranja. Viene del español. Es lo que les estaba mencionando antes. Es súper normal. No se preocupen. Don't worry about it. Tú tienes que ocupar este. You have to use this one. I like orange juice. ¿Por qué? Porque para empezar es incontable. Y es general. Porque el jugo de naranja hay un montón. Está en diferentes marcas. Hay diferentes lugares que los venden. Entonces, si tú quisieras ser específica con esa... Um, you can say something, I like the orange juice my mom makes. Ahí sí, me gusta el jugo de naranja que mi mamá hace. De lo contrario, mm -hmm. ya vamos a llegar al no article. Is that, is that one clear, Bea? Yeah, it was a fella, but thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was what? It's okay. I didn't hear you. It's breaking up. All right, so uh, that's actually, thank you. Thank you, Marcela, because that gave the opportunity to bring that topic up. Now, one more of no context needed. Come on, don't be shy. You read a book. Say it again. I read a book. Aha, uh -huh. is that a specific or general? General. Exactly. General. And we are General. working here in esta. No context needed for a specific. Let's try to fix it. Let's use the example of the book, but here. Uh, it will be, I am reading the book that I like. Yes. What book? The one you like is a specific. Aquí se estaría bien. I am reading a book. Estoy leyendo un libro. Ah, qué chivo. ¿Te gusta? Sí, vaya. No sabemos cuál. Aquí sí. The English book, for example. Exactly. I am working on the English book. Oh. Singular, specific. And it can be plural too. I am working on the English books. You're always a specific. Here. All right, now please give me a couple of examples with context needed. Mm. Context needed. Mm. I like the McDonald's of Zona Rosa. No, not again. No, 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 but that's good. I like uh, the McDonald's that is in Zona Rosa. We can yeah. fix it. But okay. that's no context needed. Because, oh, okay. Unless we are foreigners. Let's say that I am a, I don't know, I'm a gringo or I'm a Brazilian, guys. Where um, is Zona Rosa? What is Zona Rosa? Uh -huh. um, oh. It's that because there, there are a lot of McDonald's. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So there, no context is needed because you are mentioning it. You are being very mm. specific in your sentence. Okay. Have you seen um, Bob Squarepants meme? Hay un meme de Bob Esponja que dice dos horas más tarde o algo así. Yeah. Well, mm. some of you might. You said yes. So let's go ahead and use <coughs> and use that. Let's use the dos horas más tarde, the two hours later. Um, in order for you to say it, yeah. I want to buy a white shirt. <laughs> Two hours later, hey, I bought the shirt. What shirt? The white shirt that I wanted to buy five minutes ago. That is context needed. Come on, try to give me context needed before okay. taking attendance because it's almost time. Okay, if I say, 
I saw a man and a dog. The man was old. Yes, very good. I saw a man and a dog. The man was old. Great. What man? The one that was with the dog. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Give me two I more. Like, I like the zero coke. Tomorrow I'm going to bring the soil that, that I would like it. Okay. I like, you can say something like, I like coca zero, for example, or zero coke. Oh, okay. Tomorrow I'm going to bring the soda that I like. The soda. Ahí está, hasta the, the soda. soda. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahí se puede reemplazar por it. Tomorrow I'm going to bring it. Pero esa es otra historia. ¿Ah? Entonces, por eso es que necesitamos la pausita. Hey, I like zero coke. Five minutes later, tomorrow I'm going to buy the soda. The soda. What soda? Zero. Good example, Roxana. One more. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. You're too quiet. I don't know if it's because... I don't, I don't know. I don't want to make suggestions. I like black chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, the chocolate wa was really good. Bam. Excellent. That's right. I said, yeah, I like white chocolate. You said, right? Black. Black chocolate. Yes, that's good. So, guys, um, we have uh, a few seconds. Spanish, in case of auditing. Tenemos una nueva, un nuevo requerimiento en SAFOR, señores, en los cuales se nos ha pedido que tomemos la lista tres veces. Ya no son dos, hoy son tres. Ok, se va a tomar a las ocho, en punto. Este, y voy a pedir toda la lista. Luego a las nueve, tengo que hacer otra vez toda la lista. ¿Se acordaban que antes solo mencionaba los que faltaban? Yes. Pues ya no. Ahora vamos a mencionarlos a todos. Y va a pasar lo mismo a las 9.45. ¿Qué está esperando en SAFOR? Que ustedes estén presentes en las 3. All right. So, um, traten de estar siempre pendientes a la hora con la cámara on, con su nombre completo, que lo están haciendo muy bien. Pero sí, acuérdense que en SAFOR les está contando todos los minutos. All right, so let me go ahead and take attendance right now. It's going to take me a few okay. minutes. And please say present, just that, present. All right, so Ana Maria Mazokins Rivera. <clears throat> Not present. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Present. Thank you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Thank you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Okay, I see you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Okay, I see you. Here. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Ernesto. Not here. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you, girl. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. Thank you. Roxana Domitilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Garcia Laínez. Present. Oh, there you are. Beatriz Adriana Martinez Merino. Present. Thank you. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Present. There you are. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. I see you. Alison Isabel Ayala, Ayala Alfaro. Um, here. <laughs> okay. Very good. Um, say present. Please, I'm sorry. For the next one. Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Present. Thank you. Karen Eileen Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you. 
And um, last but not least, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, um, a couple of more announcements. Remember, guys, probably tomorrow you will be receiving the email with the details for you to send the survey. Are you going to reply to that survey tomorrow? No. Oh. no. Are you going to reply no. on Thursday? No. No. Are you, going to are you going to do it with me on Friday? Yes. 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 That's right. Friday. Now, most of the details are going to be sent to your email, so you can copy paste. Es que me olvidó un guión, copy paste, so we can fix it, all right? And uh, make sure that you keep all of your details up to date because you're going to be required to provide the exact same information you provided to Insafor. Una cosa que no esté bien puesta puede que no les permita completar el curso como debe ser. Así que cuando les pidan número de teléfono, el que ustedes dieron. Cuando se registraron. Email, el que ustedes dieron. Ok, se los voy a estar recordando siempre todos estos días para que después no vea, ninguno de ustedes tenga inconvenientes. All right. So let's go ahead and continue with this, guys, because we have a lot to do right now. Here. Now, um, please, guys, give me an example with this one. The and a specific for plural countable nouns. The kids, plural and countable, the kids in my neighborhood are very playful. One example. Mm. The birds in the park yeah, are flying. The birds in the park. Yes, yes, yes. The birds in the park are flying. Nice. So it is plural, countable, and a specific. Mm -hmm. mm. The dogs in my neighbor in my neighborhood are very loud. Nice. Uh, Don't you hate when that happens? Okay. What else? The pupusas you recommended are horrible. Mm -hmm. The pupusas you recommended, specific. Uh -huh. What else? The workers that are next to me are very noisy. Nice. Good job. Now let's go ahead and work with uncountable nouns. Let me help you. Uncountable, remember, are things that we cannot count. Okay? So, um, the ice cream you gave me was delicious. That's one. The ice cream, what ice cream you gave me, it is uncountable. We can use the, the ice cream. The ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ice cream, the sugar, the water, as long as you are specific, you can use it. How did you say podrido? I don't remember. Rotten. R O T T E N. The the bread is rotten. Mm. Or the milk? No, the milk is uncountable. The to bread. Uh huh. The milk is bad. Podrido, rotten. I don't, I don't know if milk can rotten. Yes. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Expired. I see. The yes, milk expired. is expired. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Real quick. A todos sí los veo con cara de, 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 oh, my God. Entonces, si yo les digo the milk is expired, ¿en cuál de los cuadros lo pusieran? In the last one. One. So you can have this. Two. Three or four. 
¿Cuál de los cuadrantes? The, the milk is... The milk okay. is... Because it's plural, non-countable, and it's... Number three. Uh -huh. Number one. <laughs> ¿Quién da más? I think that it's four because it's not countable. For uh -huh. me, it's number but three. I, but I don't know. But it's... Well, it could be three because it's specific. Yeah, it's the number three because we are talking about the specific milk. The milk. For me, it's, the um, milk it's in the that is number bad, three. Right? Because okay. the what milk is bad, my milk is specific. Yes. Or the milk that I have. Yes. Now, remember that a specific can be with um context needed or no context needed but if you say the milk is um uh, is expired la leche está vencida the milk is expired probably you will be at home telling that to your family right so the context tends to be like a, a little bit not obvious but close so yes it goes in number three La leche. And in the example that you gave us uh, before, the mm -hmm. ice cream you gave me is good? Number three. Uh, okay. Now, the difference is that here, and, and this is why I, I made this, singular countable nouns. Why? Because it's singular. Ice cream is uncountable. Ah, let me see. Singular countable noun. Nope, no haki. Sing, yeah. no, no aquí. Ah, so, uncountable, puede ser aquí, uncountable. Okay. So, is it a specific or is it general? Entonces, ahí es donde ustedes van jugando con el cuadrante. Sorry por el español, pero sí veo mucha confusión y quiero yeah. So, ahí es donde ustedes tienen que empezar a jugar y por eso les puse esto, guys. Entonces, es incontable. No puede ir ni aquí, ni aquí. Solo right. puede ir acá o acá. Entonces hay yeah. que analizar. Y vamos con esto. If I tell you milk is... I'm not sure. I drink milk sometimes. Milk is unhealthy. Four or three? Four. Four. Why? Because you're not, you're not talking about a specific, a specific milk. Mm -hmm. So I got it here. And I got it here. So mm -hmm. me pega, right? Me pega and en I este don't cuadrante. understand. <clears throat> the milk is bad. Ah, okay. But why is that? It's no, it's a gen, uh, uh, yeah, general. The milk is bad. Or expired. Expired. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you need in order for you to notice that the milk is expired? What are the, the, the two scenarios that you can notice when a milk is expired? When you taste it or when you check the date? <laughs> exactly. And in what situation do you change the date? Do you check the date? Either you are at the supermarket or you are at home. So the context is uh, like implicit right there you're at the supermarket oh no 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 the milk is expired no okay. esta no you open the yeah. fridge and you say oh the milk is expired so in this particular case you do have to put it yourself in context because okay. i i agree that it's not that clear okay, okay. all right so, like I said, I, I, I don't like when classes are teacher-centered and not student-centered, like it should be. You should be doing a lot of things. So, you tell me if it's one, two, three, or four, okay? Los vehículos producen contaminación. Do it in English, please. 
the vehicles produce contamination. So here. Pollution? In the cars produce pollution? No, I think it will be with no article. Number one. Oh, no, because no, I think number four. Number four. four. Number four. Number four. Number four. For me, it's four. Contamination. Number four. For me, it's four as well. Okay, so I, I that, that's what I like, students participating. So, number four, Chan Chan Chan, yes. Why? Because I am talking. Quito esta cosa. Ah, there is. Oh, no, give me a second. Why is it gonna be in number four? Because I am talking about something general. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about all the cars. I'm not talking about the cars in El Salvador. I'm not talking about old cars from 1985. So I'm talking in general. That's why you don't need article. Cars create pollution. Now, what about tengo una manzana? Number one. Number one. Number one. General and singular. Aha, exactly. Very good. Because it's something general and it's something singular. Very good. Um, no me gustan las motocicletas. I don't like motorcycles. Number General and plural. Number four. Number four. That's right. Why? Because I'm talking about general and this is plural right it is not a specific so we go here general and plural next one la película que me recomendaste está muy buena number two two, two. specific and singular because it's a specific and singular so how do you say that in english the movie that you recommend recommend you recommend me is fabulous. That you recommend it is fabulous, okay. terrific, fantastic, etc. Next one, it is gonna be um La gente de mi país. <laughs> Vamos a ser positivos. Es muy bella. Oh. It's true. Salvadorian people. people. Oh, you know where you're from. Number three. Uh, plural. Number three. Number three. Do you guys agree on number three? Yes. Exactly. How do you say that in English? Salvadorian people. It's beautiful. No. The people, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait. countries, nah. wait, wait. I didn't say El Salvador. I said, <laughs> la gente de mi país es ah, the people from my country. The ah, people my from countries. my country are beautiful. Salvador. Uh -huh, exactly. The people. the people from my country. Hey, pero es que people ah. no lleva. Okay, entonces, ¿cómo decimos la gente es sorprendente? People, people is amazing. 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 What number? Uh, um, no, article. Number four. four. Number four. four. Uh -huh. Why? Number because four. I am talking about plural. Plural and uncountable. In general. Uh -huh. In general. In general. In La general. gente. Y eso es lo que yo quiero batallar, eh, señores, que nosotros en español sí lo usamos para ambas. La gente de mi país. La gente. Entonces, ahí es donde nosotros le metemos el D a todo. Y este número cuatro es súper importante. Así como diferenciar estos dos. All right? Si entendemos este, nos pasamos a este. Luego hay que diferenciar lo de este. Y ya cuando entendemos este y su diferencia, nos pasamos a este. No lo podemos hacer todo en solo porque nos enchibulamos como estábamos al principio. All right. So, um, when do we use... A and N, guys. A and N. Singular, singular countable nouns. Singular countable nouns. In general situations, 
Yes, singular. Gender and situation. When do we use the article V? The uh -huh. So number one, you can use it with something specific. That's number one. If they are singular, or if they are plural or uncountable, it doesn't matter. It can be used for both. And when do we use no article? When is plural, general, and plural. General and plural. So, pretty much is the following, guys. A and N, something singular and general. And general. The article D, something specific. Specific. And it's with everything. It can be singular, it can be plural, or it can be uncountable. Okay? But the key is specific. That's why you got to differentiate this. And when do we use no article? With plural and general things. General. Mm -hmm. Plural and general. So let's do this real quick, guys. Indefinite articles A and N. Here. Articles A and N. Good. For general, singular countable. Mm -hmm. So singular countable nouns. Read it with me, please. Use with vowel sounds. Use, Use with vowel, vowel sounds. sounds. Vowel, vowel, sounds. Vowel, vowel, sounds. Vowel, vowel sounds. This is in bold letters and underlined. Okay. I ate an ice cream. I ate, I ate, I ate an ice cream. Ice cream. An ice cream. Mm -hmm. Vowel sound. What are the vowels, guys? A A A I O U I O U Right, like in kindergarten, right? <laughs> and what are the consonants? A A B All the rest The rest The rest The rest Except double L and N because it doesn't exist in English. All right? It's true. So, yeah. there is an elephant, and normally you're going to link it. There's an elephant at the zoo. There's an elephant at the zoo. But this one is not specific. No, not necessarily. Okay. Okay, pausa. Si es específico. Pero no. Yeah, por, <laughs> por lo que estamos diciendo. Pausa. Wait. Pausa. Hay un elefante en el zoológico. Which no one? estoy diciendo qué tipo de elefante. No estoy diciendo bueno. si es la difunta y tan querida manjula. Solo hay un elefante. Cualquier elefante. Se puede llamar Panchito, Alfredo, lo que sea. Hay uno. Right? Give me just... Mami, can you, hear, can you help me with the, uh, with the door, please? Thank you. Sorry, it started to rain. But it can be tricky, though. Aquí tienen que poner mucha atención, guys. Say with me, please. Take me to a hospital. Take, Take me, to, me a hospital. to a hospital. See you in an hour. See you, See in, you an hour. in an hour. Thank you. So, um, why A and why an? Because they both start with H. What is the difference? The pronunciation. Because they sound not like a vowel. Exactly, the sound. In this one, you're going to say, believe it or not, guys, <clears throat> the H has That's a true. sound. And the yeah. sound of the H is... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the sound of the H, right? Hospital. Si se pronuncia. House. No es, no es con J como lo ponen algunas cosas. House. Right? And then the silent H. Hour. 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 Mm -hmm. Hour. So that's why it is vowel sounds. No es la letra en sí escrita, sino el sonido. Like, for example, here. I need a volunteer to read this too. Someone that is willing to fail if it's needed. I can see if you're sharing. Um, can, I, can, anybody, can anybody else see it? I see it. 
I see you. Uh -huh. okay. I don't know if it's my internet. Or you can actually make sure that, uh, well, I don't know. Um, you can make sure that you are not in the chat or that you will have the application open. Okay, so guys, um, volunteer, please, so we can move forward. Eric. Me. Ah. <laughs> it's like Eric, Marcela, and someone else. Go ahead, Eric. She has a long code. Okay. And the next one? I wear a uniform Hi. every day. There you go. So the pronunciation is different, guys. Say on me, ah, oh, the schwa, uncle. 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 You, 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 uniform, 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 university, university, unicorn, unicorn. So you gotta pay attention to the pronunciation, and then use with consonant sounds. Repeat after me, please. Use with consonant sounds. Use with consonant sounds. Use with consonant sounds. That's right. I bought a plant in the morning. I bought a plant in the morning. I have a computer at home. I have a computer at home. There's a monster, monster under my bed. There's a monster under my bed. So these rules applies, apply to everything, guys. Alejandro is a very crazy person. Alejandro, Alejandro is, a is, is a very, 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 very crazy person. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a wonderful day. With W, guys, you gotta be, uh, you gotta pay attention because sometimes yeah. it sounds like a vowel. All right. This is right. an easy lesson. This is, this an, is easy an easy lesson. lesson. An easy an easy lesson. lesson. <laughs> Also, an interesting class. Also, also an interesting class. class. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, if you notice, guys, here you have noun, 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 but noun. here you have adjective, adjective. So, these rules apply to everything. Estamos con eso? Great. Keep it in mind, guys, because I got to run of time so let's go to the definite article d it's going to be used with singular countable nouns we know that the car parked over there is mine say with me please park. the car parked park. over there is the mine the car the parked car 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 is mine, there there is mine. mine. Over there is mine i want the black jacket I want, I want, I want, I want the black, the black jacket. Use with plural, countable, but or uncountable yeah. nouns. The yeah. cars yeah. parked yeah. over there are mine. Cars are there. Over there were mine. Give me the money. Give me the money. Cuando le llegan así en el bus con esa petición tan bonita, ¿cuál dinero? El que anda en la bolsa, mija, conmigo. All right, so let's go ahead and work with the exceptions here. Um, we cannot use it, oops, we cannot use it with work and with home. Several people work from home. There's people that says the home, that's incorrect. I'm at work right now. La casa, el trabajo. Con estas palabras, no se puede ocupar el artículo de. I normally get out of bed at 5.45 a.m. Con bed tampoco se puede ocupar. Many people left town because of the pandemic. With town tampoco. So in Spanish we say, and keep it in mind guys, because there are a few exceptions. El pueblo, no se ocupa en inglés. La cama, el trabajo, la casa, o el hogar. Con estos cuatro, no ocupamos the article D. So, definite and indefinite articles, the use of no article here. 
We use it with general ideas, plural, or uncountable nouns. How do you say La Familia's Vida? Family's life. Family's life. Am I talking about my family? No. No, no I'm talking about family in general. Oranges help you lose weight. Las naranjas te ayudan a perder peso. No article because it is general and plural. Traffic is horrible in El Salvador. Yeah. Traffic is horrible in El Salvador. Right? El tráfico. So that is the, the custom that we have to break, guys. In Spanish, we have it. In English, we don't. All right. So I really hope that you have found this, uh, this presentation useful. Now it is gonna be time for you to start creating, okay? And I wanted to tell me if you have any other questions about this, here. Do me a favor, take a screenshot, but don't share it. Don't share it to the group, please. Okay, just keep it to yourself or paste it. Take a screenshot, I don't know, send it to your brother, sister, your one and only, so you can keep it on your phone. Ready? Yep. Okay, guys, so what I wanted to do is, for the next couple of minutes, I wanted to work in at least five examples of each, five examples of each. Why so many? Because at some point, I want you to get confused. Why do I want you to get confused? Because I want you to learn. I want you to identify what is your confusion so you can solve it with practice. So you're gonna have five with A, five with N. Easy things, don't, don't complicate yourself. Five with the article D, Singular nouns. Here, we're going to break it. So you're going to do two and two. The with plural nouns, with plural countable, my apologies, and two with plural uncountable. And the same here. Two with plural countable and two with uncountable. So you're going to have five, 10, 15, 19, 23 examples. You're going to do it in group. Any question, you let me know. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? All right, see you back at 9.45, guys. I'm going to be visiting you. Please go ahead and, go ahead and accept the invite. No. And uh, I'll see you back soon. There you go. Breakout room number two, I got one, two people, one, two, three, three, three. All right. So, uh -huh. Eric and Marcela. Very good. Hey, Alison, did I kick you out? I, I like the phonomimics you're making. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I sent it to the group because I was with no internet. Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and don't do not accept it yet. Give me a second. Okay. Did you see it? No. What about now? 
So as you can see, I have just the uh, you and me. Uh, you and I. Okay. Yeah, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Get yeah. out of here and come back in, please. Okay. All right. Hey, Sarah, can you hear me? All right, I think she's back. Let me just wait for Alison. All right, let's give it a try, girl. You got it? Fantastic. Let me see, uh -huh. JC and Morena, I got three, 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 three. All right. Hey guys, how are you doing? Mm. Good, I guess. Okay, <laughs> running with the first one. Okay, let's say. I want to... A, a cold, I want a cold soda. I want a cold soda. I want a cold soda. I want? I want a cold soda. Okay. A cold soda. I want a cold soda. I want a cold soda, okay. Mm. And the last one for this. Uh, I am reading a book. Mm -hmm. I am reading a book, okay. I am reading a book. Now we go with the the ones with the article with the it's the, the A N. Let's try. One of them could be there is a parrot in the cage. There is a parrot. There is parrot in the cage. Uh, I couldn't hear the what. Let this. me write. There is a parrot in my cage. There is a parrot in my cage. This yes. What? So, this is with the A, the article A or N? How are you doing, guys? Mm, good We're teacher. Fine. We're doing fine right now. <laughs> okay. We are not lost anymore. All right. And number five. Mm. Ah. Ma Mary is training to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. To be an engineer. Um, mm -hmm. And we are just done, right? One, two, uh, we have one left. Ah, because Ernesto said I have an iPhone. Oh, you're right, yes. Okay, so we're done. Um, uh -huh. 
Right now, okay. a specific singular. Okay. Specific. A specific singular. Ah, we can use the, the example that we said before, uh, Marcela. I'm yeah. just walking in front of the building. Okay. That we came yesterday. Light is delayed. Okay. Pero no, no estoy seguro de esa, no sé si será específico, general. Específico, específico with singular. I think it is. Ajá. Yes, but uh, okay. what, what was the example? De, era el vuelo y está demorado. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it, 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 it's okay. It's okay, Ernesto. Okay. I think it's okay. All right. Uh, Marce. How are you okay, doing, guys? We have... Sorry? How are you doing, guys? Ah, oh, fine. We are doing okay. All right. We already did the, the five examples with A and AN. And now we are with THE or THAT. Oh, that's something I didn't mention to you guys. Yeah? THE is normally used with consonant sounds, like THE CAR. And V is normally used with vowel sounds like the oh, apple. Really? Yep. Okay, okay. However, I use it interchangeably. I use the car, the car, and I have heard many people saying the same thing. <laughs> so. Entonces, <laughs> Marta. No, but I mean, it, it is good for you to know the, the rules. And please remind me at 9.45, I have to explain this to the group. Please remind okay. me of that. Deodat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. One so more. now with plural, right? Yes. No. No, uh, no, no. We, we four. Yeah, it's one Yeah, left. we need one more for D. Okay. But it wasn't already five? No, we have the actress performing. I just watched Winner Movie, The Dog That Beat Me, and The Rain From Yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, the tamal I ate was delicious. Great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now we need T plural with plural or contable or contable. Okay. And a specific, right? The flowers yeah. from my garden are beautiful. Yeah. Mm, wait, my garden are. Singular, that's subject verb agreement. Singular, plural. Okay. The flowers from my garden ah, are beautiful. Now I got it. I didn't okay. say anything. <laughs> okay. 
Iya. <laughs> I'm gonna go check another group. <laughs> <laughs> without me the the alligators in the zoo hey guys how are you doing and the second part with the article and no worries no worries i know that is it's a little bit tricky so i totally understand it's it's hard maybe for the for the schedule i think yeah the schedule it's it's a little bit heavy but hey you gotta okay. do what you gotta do when you gotta do it right yeah. and the signal um of internet with juan carlos is not so good and i can listen so very well and okay you know what? I have a problem because it's raining. Because yeah, it is raining here. So, guys, let me go ahead and do something. I'm going to send you to other groups so you have more people. Okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me know. If you ever have inconveniences, go ahead and click where it says ask for help, and I'll be here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, JC, I'm going to send you to one. Morena, I'm going to send you to the other. Okay. I mean, okay. he has a, a son and a daughter. Uh -huh. The daughter, uh, the daughter, daughter, the daughter, daughter. Is a do Al fin está aquí. <laughs> hey guys, you can always ask for me. There's a button right there in the reactions. You can say ask for help, and I'll be here. Where is that button? And the little faces no. with the plus symbol, plus sign. Loader, loader. All right. I found in the oh, right. okay. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the last attendance and you're gonna go back to work in the same groups. And I'm gonna i I'm gonna come straight to your group, okay? Okay, okay. teacher. All right, let's let's meet there. All right, so the rest of the people is gonna be back soon. In 10 seconds, approximately. All right, guys, so um, following the new ISOFOR regulations, I'm gonna be taking attendance the last time, all right? So, Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Not here. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. Thank you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Not here. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. See you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Thank you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Eric. Present. Ah, there you are, man. You scare me. Ernesto Antonio <laughs> Castillo Campos. Ernesto. Present. Ah, there you are. Welcome, sir. Here. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you. David Orlando Nerio. Not here. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. See you. Roxana Domitilia Rios de Quiñones. Here, present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Garcia Laines. Present. Thank you. Beatriz Adriana Martinez Merino. Present. I hear you, but I can't see you. Ah, there you are. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Present. See you. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. See you too. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Yeah, yeah. There. 
Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Celia. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Karen Elin García Benítez. Present. There you are. And uh, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Sara. Sara, por ahí está Sara. Present, 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 present. The audio, it isn't, it isn't working. No worries. So present, present, continues. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> um, just as a quick reminder, guys, I'm going to be taking attendance three times per Institute regulation exactly at 8 p.m. Try to be on time at 9 and at 9.45. Remember that they are taking track of every single minute that you are logged in. So... Me voy a conectar a las 8, me desconecte, me vuelvo a conectar a las 9. That's not even an option, all right? Because it's not going to, you can do it, but it's not going to work for you. All right? Um, friendly reminder, from 10 to 10.10, 10, I have one spot left to answer questions. Thanks to Celia that stayed with me yesterday for 10 extra minutes, uh, we were able to identify some issues with the platform that I already reported. And I'm going to double check because I haven't received any notice if it's if it has been fixed or not. All right. So who's going to stay with me today? Uh -huh. Think about it from 10 to 10, 10. OK, I'm still going <laughs> to give you time and you let me know. Before we continue, guys, is this a little bit easier after the explanation? No, no. Still confusing. Can I repeat the session again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no worries. That's why I'm giving you enough time. I have actually, I changed my lesson plan completely in order for you to be able to get it. Okay. Now, don't overthink. This is easier than what you think. Now, uh, someone was supposed to remind me about something. Yeah, yes, teacher, I, I was going to tell you that ah, right now. Because ah, okay. <laughs> you were still talking. So. Yes, uh -huh. yes. What is it about? Uh, that you were going to explain the rest of the class, the difference between uh, the use of the and the use of the. That's right. Thank you very much, Andrea, Roxana. Um, normally, the pronunciation is the following, guys. You're going to use the, like that, the, with vowel sounds. The car, right? Um, the dollar is increasing, I don't know. So it's gonna be the with consonant sounds. And you're gonna use the with vowel sounds. The apple, the octopus, the orange. Now, as I mentioned the rest, uh, as I mentioned at the other group, use the one you like. Simple as that. Sometimes I use the car, the car. The apple, the apple. It doesn't really matter. People from the States, they actually change it. They say the, the, the. So don't worry about that. This is not really important in order for you to express your message. So guys, um, you're, we're gonna have uh, five more minutes so you can continue working, try to speed it up. And in the last five, we are going to share to see if that's correct. All right? Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll make sure we finish in this five minutes. Let's rock it. Celia, I'm going to be with you and your group. <laughs> you? You are... You are painting with li liquid paper. <laughs> hey guys, you have some oh. questions, right? I'm here. Okay. okay. We just need the, the, the and the D. <laughs> yeah. What was the question? Mm -hmm. That we have. <laughs> I guess the the only that I have is the Celia said the what is the difference between the and the? Mm -hmm. the. Mm -hmm. 
But the teacher said that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. teacher, no. Yeah, sometimes people use the car, the car, and you know, they jump from one to the other. But it's da, de, and di. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the teacher just smiles. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, because the, it, I mean, it is interchangeable. Don't don't worry about that. The car, use the one that you feel more comfortable with. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay. Da. Okay. And then, what? How many we need to do now? I guess. How many that's... sentences? Yes. Yes, he left. Oh, I'm here. The... Oh. Just one? Just How one. many sentences we have to do? It was uh, five, five from A and N, five with V. Oh, five for each one. Yes. All right, give, give, me, give me like two of each at least. Because you got a few minutes only. We did five, I mean, between both. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> and uh, I have another question. With proper names, we don't use articles. Uh, right? uh, hoo -hoo, that's a whole different animal, girl. No, we don't. <laughs> so. unless, unless the name already has it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The same happened with like countries, cities, I think. Countries, um, we don't need to say that El Salvador. Focus on the no. one you got because that's like, I didn't want to give you all of those things because you can use it with mountain ranges, but you cannot use it with mountains or with no. mounts. But you can use it with lakes. You can use it with cities, except the ones with republic, uh, states, and... Uh, there are three, Republic, States, and, uh, oh, I forgot the other one. What about, I forgot, I, I, but, but you got I it. investigate about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Republic, but States, I'm not sure if I find it. and Kingdom, I got it. Republic, kingdom. States, and Kingdom. With If the name has that, like the United States, uh, the United Kingdom, the Dominican Republic, you got to use it. Some mm -hmm. like the Netherlands that it has it in the name, you gotta use it, mm -hmm. right? For the rest, but we are gonna use it if the name contains the article. If the name has it, that's right. But if it hasn't, we are not gonna use it. If it doesn't, you for don't. example, El Salvador, no, we're not gonna mm -hmm. use it. If it doesn't, you know. All right, keep it up. You still have more examples to create. I'll be right back. <clears throat> yes, my baby is playing with the dogs in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. That will be the first one, right? Yeah, for countables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we use, I will have a barbecue with my friends on Sunday? Uh, I will have a barbecue with my friends on Sunday. And what is the- We have to use the, the uh, it's auxiliary. I don't know if it, it is an auxiliary. Article. No. Article, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Zombie. We have to use the article. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we can say I'm going to make the barbecue. No. Let me the, see. Depends on the context. Hey, are we gonna have the barbecue? For example, luckily I have a barbecue on Saturday and Sunday, and uh, I can tell them, hey. Plural. Oh. Okay, and in that, in that case, we can use, and then I'm going to the beach with my friends. Yes. 
but the bitch has it already. You gotta use it. Hmm? With the bitch, you have to use it. Yes or yes. Okay, it's it's a good example then. Yes, the beach. Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost gone, guys. For help? Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, we have a doubt of a uh, plural, general, uncountable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if sugar made me feel electric. It's good or is it <laughs> yes. All the uncountable are plural. I don't know. That that's a specific question. With most depends. I mean, if you notice, if you pay attention to the to this thing right here, um, you're gonna be using um, uncountable with the and with no article. So it really depends. The water, water. Uh -huh. so what, uh, what about uh, the error? This kind of countable plural. Okay, but it, that's the thing. You cannot have uncountable plural. That doesn't exist. Either you have something uncountable or either you have something plural. Mm -hmm. Because if it's plural, it means that you can count it and this is uncountable. You cannot. So that terminology doesn't exist. I think that the thing mm -hmm. is, the thing that you are getting here is that um, uh oh, a lot of people is asking for help. <laughs> We're gonna go back in a few seconds. So here you have to decide, is it uncountable? Are you gonna talk in general or in a specific? Uh, love is real? Decide. Love is real? Yes, that is gonna be general. El amor es real. Now, the love I have for my children, blah, 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 specific. it's a specific. Uh... All right. That's, I think that that's what you were looking for. So, guys, let's go ahead and go back to the main room because of time. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. I almost leave the meeting. <laughs> but no, it's a breakout. Yeah. Alrighty. We're going to be waiting for them. They are going to be back in a few seconds because it's time. Okay, guys, in the meantime, um, I know that you might have a lot of questions. And I actually have good news. Well, I don't know if these news are going to be good or bad. But let me wait a few seconds here for everybody to be here. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It is time now. And uh, I know you have many, 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 many questions yet. Okay, so for good or for worse, or for good or for bad, we're gonna continue with this tomorrow. Why? Because tomorrow we're gonna cover zero article. And that means that we're gonna have time to compare it. Okay, so what you're doing right now, keep it and we will check it tomorrow. Okay. All right? So All right. make sure that you are at eight, please, because I have to take attendance at eight, and I have to take three. Okay. Sheets. And you gotta be in all of them, the whole 120 minutes. Now, who's gonna stay with me for from 10.01 to 10, to 10.10? 10, 10? So nobody has a question. Me, I said, if nobody's going Okay, then we'll see, yeah. Thank you very much for the rest of you. Get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank see you, you tomorrow. Bye 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 bye. 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 Righty, Celia. So, okay. tell me. First question: zero article and no article is the same. <laughs> yes. 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 So we already covered it. The induction, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other one, 
was about the pronunciation, but you already explained it. Uh -huh. And the other one, it's because I get confused mm -hmm. when you said the need context, but the other one don't doesn't need it or don't need it. I, I don't understand what uh, you refer to context. And I don't know if, if it is because I I can hear you very well because of the earphones. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand when. Uh, I mean, if you see your chart, mm -hmm. number two and number four, mm -hmm. with which, which one we are going to use context and which one no. Oh, um, the thing is that context is needed on that context part. is needed in everything without in context every, english the language context is needed unless it's obvious right oh. but i just wanted to think out of this topic in particular that context is needed with everything i think okay. that your confusion was and that's why i decided to change my planning right and mm -hmm. have my material instead of the books because everybody I, I, I was, was reading i was reading the book but uh, to be honest i didn't understand the book mm -hmm. that's why i the examples near the explanation mm -hmm. like com a, a little bit confused confusing but confusing mm -hmm. but when you start with the presentation then i i hear again context context and and, and i don't mm -hmm. i didn't understand what were you talking about Context is pretty much um, everything that you say, it needs mm -hmm. an idea. It needs information surrounding it so you can mm -hmm. understand. Because if I tell you, I am hungry, you understand that I want to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the context. But if I tell you, for example, um, um, I called her. What do you understand? That you called her. <laughs> okay. But um, maybe and I can ask you why you did it. Why? why? Or who you called her. So that's the context. Hey, you know what? I haven't heard anything from my sister. I'm going to call her. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's say that, let's talk. I'm going to call you back in five minutes. I call you back. Hey, Celia, what's up? Hey, you know what? I called her. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the context? Yeah. Because you know, yeah. who, am, who am I? Who did I, okay. <laughs> who did I call? <laughs> Uh, your sister that's the context so with the article D sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't okay uh -huh. now when you don't need it is when you already know what I'm talking about okay so it would be like examples on number two right forget about this right now that's, that's what I get confused. Exactly. Forget about this right now. But I want you to understand that when you need context, it's because you need more information. Right? Like, for example, I called her, you have no context. But mm -hmm. if I explain to you, then you have the context. Okay? So, okay. we're going we're gonna to do it here. If I tell you, I guess that is with a, N, and D. Now mm -hmm. let's go back to the, I bought a TV. But which it. TV? Yeah. And you can, oh, really? Nice. What kind of TV? But you understand. Uh-huh. Right? Hey, mira, compré una tele. Ah, que chivo va. Donde? Cuanto? Y que tal? Que tamaño? So you can have a conversation. Because I'm talking about something general, so you can ask a lot of questions. But if I told you, I bought the TV with no previous knowledge, 
you will not understand. Mira, compré no. la tele. ¿Cuál tele? Ah, una tele. Sigue sin entender. But if I tell you, I bought the TV we saw last night. Mira, compré la tele que vimos anoche. ¿Y? ¿En serio? ¿La que valía 200? Sí. So you already know. Now. Um, I really understand. <laughs> so you really have to know what you're talking uh -huh. about. Now, forget about everything. If I tell you, I bought a TV. I you understand just, that you, you bought understand. a TV. I didn't mention anything. I just come to you and I tell you, hey, I bought the TV. Well, do you understand? Yeah, that, that you bought a TV. No, no, it doesn't I, matter. I mean, uh -huh. if it is an specific, you said in general, uh -huh. but the message is clear. You exactly. bought a TV. Correct. But if you don't know anything, I didn't tell you any, we, you know nothing, ah, double negative. <laughs> no, you know nothing, si se puede. You know nothing yeah. about a TV. <laughs> And I tell you, hey, I bought the TV. Do you understand? No. Why? Because you need context. Mm -hmm. Because in that case, you've seen that it's a specific, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's not clear uh, which TV are you talking about. Exactly. Right? Now, let's pretend that I already told you, hey, I want to buy a TV. It is... Uh, a Samsung and next day I tell you hey I bought the TV what TV am I looking am I talking about what TV am I talking about I can't hear you if I tell you for example hey I want to buy a Samsung TV mm -hmm. and next day I tell you hey I bought the TV do you know what TV I'm talking about uh, yeah, maybe the Samsung TV. Exactly. Because you already mentioned. That. Exactly. So we have difference. Ya tenemos las diferencias. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to recap in Spanish when we finish. You don't know anything about a TV. Okay. Um, and, if, and, and I told you, hey, I bought the TV that your mother was selling. I bought the TV your mother was selling. Do you know what TV? Yeah, the one that your mother was selling. Did you know that I wanted to buy that TV before? Um, no. Uh-huh. But you still understand because I am yeah. being specific that is the TV your mom was selling. Yeah. So that's the difference. Now, let me wrap up in, in, in Spanish. Pasamos con Ian. Compré una tele, cualquiera. No necesitas información y ahí puede empezar una conversación. Porque estoy hablando de una tele en general. Si ocupamos the, aquí prácticamente se puede dividir en, en tres, creo. Entonces, primero hay esto. Necesitas saber el contexto para yo solo venir y decirte, compré la tele. Uh -huh. Si tú ya sabes el contexto, me vas a entender. Si yo no te digo el contexto, cuando yo te lo cuente, tengo que agregar más información. Compré la tele uh -huh. que tu mamá estaba vendiendo. Right? Uh -huh. Y ya estoy siendo específico. Así que una de dos. O le mencionamos antes a la persona para que nos entienda. O se lo le damos toda la información al momento de decirle. Uh -huh. Is it better about context? Ya. Yeah. And that, and that is the context we are talking about. Context is uh, everything surrounding the message, mm -hmm. the details. Yeah, I, I, already, I already understand. I, I get confused because I was thinking that each one, ha it, I mean, that was the difference between both. Mm -hmm. That is. It's not, it's not that, I mean, idea. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it, it, it matters if you don't know who we're talking about or well, what you are talking about, but depends on 
depends on what you are, I mean, saying, right? Yes. It, For example, it, it, like, like in this example, uh, there is an iguana in my room. Maybe uh, she said this, I mean, yesterday. And now she said, mom, the one is back. So there is like no context on the second sentence, but as she already mentioned, the mom understand. Exactly. That, that's the, the correct way, right? Yeah, that's right. And the same one with the first one. I bought a TV, it's correct. Mm -hmm. But on the second one, I bought the TV. Maybe if you uh, tell this to someone else without, I mean, anything else, mm -hmm. The person is not going to understand but if you add that we saw last night that is i mean like the specification that you need to make the message clear correct okay you got it i got it yeah got it. congratulations <laughs> I got it. and then i already got it all right so now that you know this and you know this it is time for you to practice a little bit Give, uh, write a couple of examples so you make the, the understanding a little bit, you know, stronger. And then you go with this one. So this is the same. This one down here is the same as mm -hmm. this, but in plural. That's it. So yeah. this but and this is, is the not, same. There is not difference, right? Because uh, here you put that this, the last the plural or Uncountable. The first one can be with both, right? Or no? Which one? This this For right example, here. Uh -huh. On the uh, yeah, on that the first one it says singular countable noun. Mm -hmm. That's a rule. We cannot use it with uncountable. Yes, you can, but not this one. No, it, 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 but, let it me explain. Uh -huh. It's the same. It is the same usage. The only thing that changes is that, for example, I bought the TV, mm -hmm. singular. I bought yeah. the TVs, plural. Oh. I bought mm -hmm. the water I wanted. I bought the beer I wanted. Mm -hmm. La cerveza que quería. So, the structure doesn't change. What changes is the message. If you're using okay. the TV, just one, the TV is two, or the sugar, uncountable. Mm -hmm. The meaning, the message is pretty much the same. All you are changing is the noun. So it is separated just like to be more specific, but the structure is the same. Yes, it is the same. Okay. So you're always being specific with the, but mm -hmm. what changes is, like as I mentioned before, is that in one example, you might be talking about one thing. Singular in another one, one, you can be plural. talking about more things in more plural things. or about mm -hmm. something uncountable, but the message itself is the same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. So um, Celia, thank you very much um, for one more time for giving your best for your willingness to learn and your mm. desire to learn so yeah you might end up liking it you know i don't know who knows I so i just wish <laughs> you the best and i want to thank you for this anything else that i might be able to help you with no that will no? be all all right yeah. practice makes perfect girl for today that would be oh, yeah for today <laughs> and if you want to stay and if nobody want to stay and you want to do it then stay simple mm -hmm. right so thank you very much, girl. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. We love and respect. Get out of here. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.